man, if you can play a card with Dominate, I think I'm screwed. (laughs) Live the dream. Hey guys, welcome to Back of the Binder, where we do the best we can with the worst we have. Uh, I am Reese, And I'm Chris. And we are just two of the friendly faces of Nerds of the West. Guys, welcome on in. Um, Chris, what are we doing today? What's going on? Uh, I Things know. are different. <laughs> I don't like change. Oddly, we are not playing Magic the Gathering today, but don't go away because we are instead bringing you some Flesh and Blood, which is uh, a relatively new TCG that Reese and I have got our hands on. I actually want to give a shout out to a good friend of ours, Charlie. Uh, he actually supplied us with all of their uh, Blitz decks. Um, and uh, yeah, go support your local game stores, kids. So we're going to be stumbling through this because Reese and I have played maybe a couple of games each with each other, but we certainly don't know the rules. <laughs> so I'm sure we'll look back on ourselves a year from now and just cringe. And, uh, uh, when we're like what pro we're doing? flesh and blood yeah. players, just be like, yeah. it's all wrong. It's all wrong. But I, I really enjoy this game. Yep. Reese really enjoys this game. We're, we're super excited to get into it. So if you yes. are looking for more Flesh and Blood um, content, definitely hit the subscribe button, hit the like button. Ringling the dingling! Ringling the dingling. And let us know if you want to see more of this kind of game in action. The magic content is definitely not going anywhere. So, you know, there'll yeah. still be magic. So <laughs> don't I'm still editing, Commander. Don't worry about it. Um, <laughs> we just don't talk about it, all right? What are you uh, playing today? All right, Chris, I am playing uh, the Levia deck. So I am all about banishing cards um, and hitting you with big things. Okay. Standard green deck. Just yep. Or green, black. Banish <laughs> cards, hit you with big things. That's that's what I'm doing. <laughs> Fair enough. Um, so, uh, oh, just a disclaimer, we will be going uh, slower than usual just so we have an understanding of what's going on as well as to show you guys what is going on. Um, there's a bit to this. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. This is a lot. It, um, it functions way differently. Yeah. So, uh, Livia has uh, her own ability. So, if a card with six or more power has been put into your banished zone this turn, cards you own lose blood debt during the end phase. Blood debt's a bad Blood thing. debt is bad. Do not <laughs> sign on the dotted line, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Exit that contract. <laughs> awesome. Well, yeah. I am playing Prism, um, and she is sort of like an angelic defender person, I think. Uh, the whole idea is that you want to fill Prism's soul with different cards and then use those souls to make spectral shields, which I'll show you a little little rendition of what those look like there. And basically the idea is to stall out the game and then eventually break through with some really big heavy hitting cards, but there's a downside because each of them is an illusion as well. Ooh, illusion! <laughs> so Chris, how does one win a game of flesh and blood? You win by reducing your opponent's life to zero from 20. So that's very similar to how Magic the Gathering functions. Yep. The turn structure, on the other hand, if you care to explain. Is very, very different. Um, So in Magic, you have a lot of different phases and a lot of different uh, things. Uh, With Flesh and Blood, it is the start of turn phase, the action phase, and then the end of turn phase. Simple stuff, right? everything happens during the action phase. Um, I'll get more into that when we actually do it, uh, but I think we have talked a lot. Let's let's play a game. Let's, let's do it. Roll for firsts. So we'll roll for first. Uh, then each of us will begin the game. Oop. I'll go first. Yep. <laughs> with three cards in our hand. Um, oh yes, four. Four cards. I've already got something wrong. Four cards. Uh, you can tell depending on the hero that you use um, their intellect level. So they, they, you will start with four cards. Or we will start with four cards. Some heroes have different intellects. Uh, well, since I'm going first, I'm going to move into my action phase, which is where I get one single action. And I am going to be playing this card, the Herald of Rebirth into the combat chain. Interesting and I'm going to pay for this Herald of Rebirth's cost of two by spending a number of action points from a different card. So in the top right section of your card, you have your cost. Uh, In the top left-hand section of your card, you have the amount of resources that 
that card is worth. Sweet! Sweet! Uh, so you are playing Herald of Rebirth by yes. pitching Illuminate? I am. Yep. So now my attack has a strength of five and all damage in this game has trample, I should say. <laughs> yeah. Most, most combat damage has trample. Five is a lot, actually. Um, the, the drawback here is that my card is a phantasm. It's an illusion. So actually, if you can defend this card with any defender that yeah. itself has an attack power of six or more, this just dissipates and nothing happens. Yeah, fair enough, fair enough. Now, uh, so Chris has played that. I have a chance to uh, respond. I can either choose to take the damage or defend using a card from my hand. Um, so I will defend with Endless More. Um, it has a defense value of three, so it would block three of the damage, um, but because it also has an attack power of six, um, it actually triggers Phantasm and therefore just cancels out the attack. Indeed it does. Yeah. So my Herald of Rebirth moves instead of to this zone, to the discard zone, and that is gone forever. It's like the graveyard, yeah. right? And my Endless More also goes to the graveyard. Graveyard. Yeah. Whereas pitched cards that you've used to pay for other cards actually go on the bottom of your deck at the end of your turn. Yeah. And I think that's where I'm going right now, right after I put a card into my arsenal. Ah, yes, I forgot about the arsenal. <laughs> so during your turn, uh, if you're finished, you can put a card from your hand into the arsenal and then later on you can play that card uh, so essentially giving you like an extra card in your hand. You can never use the arsenal for any other purpose. Though. Yeah, you can't pitch or defend from the arsenal, you can only uh, play the card from there. Sweet. Yeah. Uh, so now that I am going to finish my turn, yep. I take all the cards that have been used for resources, put yep. them on the bottom, and the card in my hand... Where does that go? That, that's your hand. That is my hand? Yep. So then you draw back up to four. Sweet. Um, and because it is the first turn, both players actually draw up to four, just yes. to give equal footing. Because I got to a, basically attack first, yep. Reese now is allowed his proper turn from the beginning. Yeah. Okay. Now what do I want to do? That's a you question. Yeah, that's that totally is a me question. <laughs> um... Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to play Smash with Big Tree. Hey. <laughs> uh, so that's going to cost me two resources. So I'm going to pitch um, a Deadwood Rumbler and a Hungering Slaughter Beast mm -hmm. to give me two resources. And it's um, just straight up a seven powered it's attack. Straight up a seven powered attack. Okay. Well, I'm not keen on taking all of that damage. Just, just take it all, man. Don't, don't, don't worry about it. Uh, no. <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> I will be defending. Sure. Uh, I shall defend with two cards. Yep. Um, each of which has a defense value of six. So that would absorb six, but I'll still take one, one. damage from Smash with Big yep. Tree down to 19. First blood. First, I'm on the blood. board, ladies and gentlemen. Let's do it. All right. And then I can put this in my arsenal and draw back up to four. Um, I guess at instant speed in your end step, my magic brain wants to say, I can activate abilities and things, can't I? Uh, instants work similar to how they work in magic. Right. So, so uh, what I want to do is I want to spend three resources. Yep. Activate my Halo of Illumination to put a card from my hand into my hero's soul. And if it's a light card, I draw a card. Sure. So I'll do that. The soul resides beneath your hero. Yeah. Uh, and that's gone as well. Yeah. So to sort of explain, uh, our heroes also have equipment and weapons that we start the game with. Um, so our equipment has different abilities and stuff that we can use through the game and our weapon we can choose to attack with instead of attacking with something through our hand and also provides us with different attacks and abilities. Indeed. Um, I get to draw a card. Furthermore, I have two resource points that are still waiting to be used and I'll use them now. Um, once per turn instant, Prism, my hero can banish a card from her soul to create a spectral shield. So I'll do that now. Banishing is basically saying goodbye. Uh, and now I now get one of these nifty tokens. Sweet. So now that you're done, my yep. pitch zone gets uh, put on the bottom as well. As does mine. As yours. 
Sweet, so now it is my turn. Yes, uh, yes, your turn, Chris, go. My magic brain just wants to draw a card at the start yeah, of the turn. Yeah. <laughs> you can't, you, you get stuck with what you've got. Yeah, it's interesting you did all that at the end of your turn and now you only have one card in your hand. Indeed. So. Uh, my plan is not necessarily to be super offensive right out the gate. I think that's your plan. I mean, I'm always offensive. <laughs> yeah, just in life. Yeah, just in life, yeah. just. <laughs> Just a rude dude. <laughs> I will be playing the card from my arsenal. Ooh, right what are you doing? Uh, it is Illuminate. Uh, Illuminate. Illu okay. Illuminate. <laughs> <laughs> They're watching, always watching. <laughs> uh, so my Illuminate attack, it costs zero to play, so that's, yep. that's nice. It's worth four damage, should it connect. Um, it doesn't have Phantasm, so actually this isn't one of those illusory cards. Interesting. Rather, if it does hit you, I put it under my hero's soul. What will it be, Dr. Jones? I've got a thing of four. How much do you really care? Imagine all the firepower you could send back my way during your Well, turn. here's the thing, right? I... For this deck to work properly, I sort of want cards in my graveyard. Because um, I have... I have resource economy that I have to think about. <laughs> yeah. um, so, dead, so what I'm gonna do is I'm going to defend with Rally the Rear Guard, mm -hmm. uh, which has a once per turn instant. Discard a card, Rally the Rear Guard gains plus three defense. Activate this ability when uh, only when Rally the Rear Guard is defending. Okay. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna discard uh, Boneyard Marauder yep. uh, to then make uh, Rally the Rear Guard's uh, defense value become five. Wonderful. Yeah. All right, it's a successful block. My Illuminator's gone. Doof. I'll be putting a card into my arsenal and then drawing back up to four cards. Cool. Your move, Yugi boy. So, all right, I'm going to play Boneyard Marauder by pitching uh, Lunar Tide Plunderer, so that gives me two resources to pay for one. Mm -hmm. uh, as an additional cost to play Boneyard Mordorer. Uh, <laughs> Moinderer. Moinderer. Boneyard Moinderer. Uh, uh, Boneyard Moinderer. Um, Boneyard Marauder. Banish three random cards from your graveyard. Oh, it begins. It begins, it ladies. It begins. Hup. Rally the rearguard. Banished. Hup. Boneyard Marauder, banished. Uh, blood debt. Ha! Endless oh. Moor, banished. Right. Two blood debt. Yep, so that is two cards with blood debt in my um, in my banished uh, area. So blood debt is at the beginning of your end phase. Uh, if your card is in, in the uh, banished zone, lose one life. <laughs> but, Levia's ability, if a card with six or more power has been put into the banished turn this turn, um, Banish zone this turn. Uh, cards you own lose blood jet during the end phase. Okay, so you can um, avoid your fate for now. Yes. Uh, so two cards with six went in, triggers Levia, blood debt off the table for now. <laughs> so you have a four head natcha. Not nice. I think I ought to defend. What have I got in my arsenal here? <laughs> I mean, you don't have to defend, just let it go through, it's fine. No. <laughs> no. Ooh, it's tough. You're making this hard for me, dude. That's the point. <laughs> I will defend it with War Tune Herald. Okay. Now, defending doesn't cost any resources. Does no. It? No. So no I'm actually all. fine to do that. Um, it has a defense value of three. Yep. I will lose my Spectral Shield if this happens. But, you know, sometimes you just gotta. Stir the bee's nest. Oh, wow. So three gets absorbed from the attack. Yep. One more that would trample over is absorbed by my spectral shield. Yep. And this card is destroyed. Cool. Alrighty. Move to end step. Yes. I'm going to put this into the bottom. Mm -hmm. And then I shall draw four. Okay, Yugi boy. Cool. All right, I'll pitch Spears of Surreality for three resource points. I'll spend one to seek enlightenment. The next attack action I play this turn gains plus three attacking power, and if it hits, put it into your hero's soul. Go again. So 
I can now play an additional action. Yeah. That action will be, with another resource point from Spears of Surreality, Rising Solar Tide. It now has an attack power of seven, and if it hits, put it into your hero's soul. So I guess both of those are redundant. Yep. Block that! Okay. Uh, just for clarification, go again basically means you gain another action point and have the ability to go again. Yes. Um, seven. That's not good. And this isn't a, a phantasmal attack. This is a straight up connection. Uh, okay, I'm going to... I'm gonna block with Hunger and Slaughter Beast. Mm -hmm. uh, and I'll just take four, I guess. Four over the top. Yeah. Okay. Well, you take four. Down to 16. Rising Solar Tide hit, so it goes under my hero's soul. Um, and that goes to Bin. I'm trying to think if there's anything else I'm missing that I'll be really embarrassed about. Uh, I will be putting a card into my arsenal and ending my turn. Before you do, though, I'm going to play a card from my arsenal. All right. Blood <laughs> Tribute. Oh, God. Uh, so it costs zero. Yeah. Uh, opt one, uh, which is uh, essentially scry for magic. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so look at the top uh, card of your deck. You may put it on to the bottom. So I opt one, then banish the top card of my deck. Okay. So it's literally opt from magic together. Yeah, yeah. All right. All right. Can you pay the blood debt? Cool. I'm going to keep that at the top, and then I banish it. Cool. Graveyard. My pitch zone gets put on the bottom, I draw four cards, and you're up, son. Cool. Do, 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 do. <laughs> what do I wanna do? Alright, let's look at let's look at my equipment, right? My hand's not great. <laughs> not gonna lie. Um yeah, Alright, so this is what I'm gonna do. I'm going to pitch two. Uh to swing my ravenous meat axe. Uh, so whenever you attack with Ravenous Meat Axe, draw a card, then discard a random card. If a card with six or more power is discarded this way, Ravenous Meat Axe gains plus two until end of turn. So I have paid two to make it attack, so I will draw a card, and then discard a card at random. Chris, would you like to pick a card? Your fate is in your own hands. Oh no. So that's a six. Uh, so Ravenous <laughs> Meat Axe is uh, swinging for five. Uh, I think I gotta take this attack, seriously. Yep. I will not be defending it, so I'll take five damage down to 14. Nice. Yeah. Cool. Hurts. It is now uh, my end step. Yeah. What I <laughs> require step. to do, otherwise I'm gonna hurt, um, is I'm gonna play another Blood Tribute yeah. as an instant. Um, instants don't require actions. I can't remember if we said that. Uh, instants don't require actions, so they can just be played at any time. Yeah. Um, as long as their cost is paid. Pretty much any card that is an action says that it is an action at the bottom of the card. That is true. So, yeah. That is true. Yep. Um, so I'm gonna opt one again and then banish the top card of my deck and hope I don't get hurt. Go for it. All right. Good luck. Good luck um, with the blood debt. Cool. So I'm going to keep that at the top, and then I'm going to banish it. Uh, it's a seven, but it also has blood debt. Um, so blood debt is cancelled, but I'm just going to do a quick thing. Do you like a dice? To keep yes, <laughs> I would actually. That might be... Uh, so blood debt's up to three. Okay. But we're fine. Um, so what I'm going to do is that goes in, back into the deck, and then I'm going to draw up to four cards. Mm-hmm. Three, and Chris, your turn. Okay. Well, the first thing I should like to do, to do, to do, to do, to do, to do. I think I'm gonna be cracking two of my armor uh, uh, okay. pieces yep. this turn. So, oh God, this I gotta I gotta sequence this correctly. Hold, hang on with me, viewer. <laughs> We're going down the rabbit hole now. Well. I will crack this heartened cross strap 
Um, the next action card I played this turn costs two fewer resource points to play and go again. So I'll do that. Yep. Next, for my next trick, I shall crack the Dreamweavers, which is to say that the next action card that I played this turn loses and cannot gain Phantasm. Go again. So I'm going again, again. Now this attack I'm sending in for free. And it free. can't lose Phantasm. It can't lose Phantasm. Or it can't gain Phantasm, I should say. Yeah. It loses Phantasm, which is not good. <laughs> I might have done this just wildly wrong, but uh, screw it. Hey, Let's go. Makes for the story. Herald right. of Protection. Yep. Um, it's a five power attack. If it hits, I put it into my hero's soul and create a spectral shield token. One of those nifty tokens that I am so obviously going for. So it doesn't have Phantasm. Is it just five? It sure is just five. Don't tell me you're thinking of it. I took the five last time. I tell you why, it didn't feel good. Oh, life is just a resource. Ooh, I'll take the five. Okay, all right. Down to 11. <sighs> Feels good. Well, I get to create a spectral shield token to yep. defend against damage that you would deal to yep. my hero. And Herald of Protection goes into my hero's soul. Uh, the reason I had used my cross trap to reduce that cost of that card is because now I should like to spend a Wartune Herald to pay for resources. Yep. And activate Prism's ability, banishing a card from underneath her. To make another spectral shield. To make another spectral shield. Cool, cool. And with that, I shall end my turn. Okay. So what would I like to do? Well, I'm going to play a Deadwood Rumbler. Okay. It will cost me three. <sighs> so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pitch another Deadwood Rumbler. <laughs> now, you may notice, these are the same cards, but have different values. What? <laughs> oh my goodness. For rules purposes, they are two completely different cards, so they just share the same name. I um, think the color bar at the top as well. Yeah. Which kind of iteration of the card it is. Yeah. So for instance, the one that I'm playing, it costs three, but is only worth one resource, but deals eight damage. Whereas the one that has three resources deals six damage. So they're sort of like, they both have strength and weaknesses. Um, but yeah, so I'm swinging with the eight. Um, so I have to draw a card, then discard a random card. If a card with six or more power is discarded this way, banish a card from a graveyard. Okay, um, from a so, graveyard, interesting. Yeah. You can graveyard hate the old uh, Relic of Progenitus. <laughs> yeah. um, but ideally I'd want to banish one from my graveyard purely for the fact I don't want to take an additional three damage at the end of the turn. This is rough. Chris, would you like to pick a card? This one here. Sure. Oh, that is a six. Why are you so good at these games? Because uh, I have a lot of six cards in here. <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, is there a six in here that doesn't have blood debt? Yes, I'm going to banish uh, Smash with Big Tree. Mm. Okay. Um, so that cancels out blood debt for the turn. All right, Chris, eight. Yeah, it's a lot. It is a lot. Um, I honestly think I will be blocking all of it to try and preserve my spectral shield tokens. Okay. Because my hero likes to transform those into creatures with the opalescence effect. So I will spend three defending cards, oh. totaling eight defense power yep. to block your Deadwood Rumbler. Well, there you go. That is... It was a big uh, price to pay. For all intents and purposes, blocked. <laughs> wow. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. Well then, I'm going to put a card in my arsenal uh, and end my turn. My turn is essentially ruined now. I only have one <laughs> card in my hand and those watching at home, it's not exactly a card I want. <laughs> it's not ideal? No, it's not ideal. Now, the ruling with the arsenal is that you can't just throw cards away from it for no, no good reason. No, so, unfortunately. Sadly, I will just simply be passing the turn back to you and drawing up to four cards again. Interesting. Interesting. I may have bought myself a turn with that one. All right. Uh, well, at the beginning of my turn, mm -hmm. my arsenal card has a special effect. Whoosh. Lady Barthamont, uh, a brute mentor. 
So mentor cards are special cards. Mentor, you may only have uh, Bathmont in your deck if your hero is young. Levy is young. There's some extra things. I beg of you to go implore and delve into Flesh and Blood where glancing over a lot of uh, the more intricate parts of yeah. the mechanics mm. are today. Um, at the start of your turn, if Bathmore is face down in your arsenal, you may turn it face up. Uh, whenever you play an attack action card, banish the top card of your deck. If the banish card is six or more, the attack gains dominate. So dominate means that the defending player cannot uh, defend the card with more than one card, so they can only use one card to defend. And put a less encounter on Barthamont. Uh, then if there are two or more less encounters on Barthamont, banish her, search your deck for a specialization card, which is another special card, and put it face up into your arsenal and shuffle the deck. Mm. Cool, cool. Yeah. <laughs> That's not good for me. No, not at all. <laughs> uh, all right, so I'm gonna play Consuming Afterath. Um, by pitching uh, Deadwood Rumbler. Um, as an additional cost to play Consuming Aftermath, you may banish a card from your hand. If a shadow card is banished this way, Consuming Aftermath games dominate. Sweet. Um, so I'm going to banish Hungering Slaughter Beast, okay. which has a power of six. <laughs> yeah, nice. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> blood yeah. debt value. Uh, I'm gonna recheck my blood debt value. Two, three. Four. Yeah, Levia's ability is actually really interesting because it eventually gets to a point where either you pay the blood debt or you die. Yeah. You know, because yeah. I'm already looking at your 11, there's four in there, that's going to be very quickly <laughs> that's a, uh, up. That's a lot of damage. Mm -hmm. uh, so, and um, Hungering Slaughter Beast was also a shadow card. Yes. Um, so, Consuming Aftermath is a six with Dominate. I cannot block it effectively at all, which is very but I will be oh, blocking it. Sorry. Uh, yes. Miss Trigger. Um, whenever you attack with an action card, banish the top card of your deck. <laughs> oh, okay. Banished. Uh, smash with big trees. Banished. Okay. Um, and then <laughs> it's got it's got double dominate. <laughs> yeah. Yep. All right. So continue. <laughs> well, I will I will block it with one card from my hand. Yep. At least uh, absorbing three. Furthermore, my two spectral shields will each absorb one point of damage each. Yep. So I'll only lose one life. Yep. Down to 13. Cool. And everything gets burned away. And I will end my turn. During your turn. Would you like me to wait for you to... Ooh, no. You know, I, I changed my mind. Okay. Uh... Your yeah. turn, sir. Sure is. It sure is. Well, I will begin by... I will pitch both of my Heralds of Ravages for six resource points. Oh, boy. <laughs> ah. Oh, boy. I'll spend four, uh, two of that to activate Prism's ability once per turn. Banish yep. a card from within her soul to create a Spectral Shield. Four resource points remaining. I will use them to pay for Merciful Retribution. Now this is an aura, this sticks around. Wow. Whenever an attack action I control is destroyed, I deal one arcane damage to target hero. If it's a non-token light card, I put it into my hero's soul. Wow. So I, I maybe should check the rules before I <laughs> explain what that does. But essentially, oh sorry, whenever an aura or attack action card yeah. is destroyed and my spectral shields count as auras. So basically, whenever I whenever I lose one of my things, <laughs> yep. um, I deal damage and and I put them into my soul. Yeah. So that's gonna be a really important card for me, I think. Uh, if it's a non-token light card. So that's a token? Uh, yeah, token. yeah, that yeah. won't go into the soul. But, but I still get the damage. Yeah. Yeah. No, that's cool. That's gross, but that's cool. Okay, well, with that, I'll be putting a card into my arsenal and passing the turn to you. Mm. Mm. Damn, damn, damn. Crispity pretty crunch. <laughs> mm. Look, Look at, at the bacon. <laughs> uh. <laughs> I am 
having a hard time, friend. Um, all right, so I'm going to play Rally the Rear Guard mm-hmm. by pitching uh, Convulsions from the Bellow of Hell. Uh, so that's three resources. So two are going to Rally the Rear Guard. Mm-hmm. Um, I'm then going to... Um, Would you like to use that to attack Prism or Merciful Retribution? I think I'm going to attack Prism. Okay. I think I need to close out the game. Yeah. Yeah. So I'm swinging for six. Um, I banish the top card of my deck because of Lady Barthamont. <laughs> uh, it is not a power six or greater, so here we are. Um, that's another blood deck. Oh, God. <laughs> cool. <laughs> no. All right, well. <laughs> okay, just six power, is it? Yep, six power. Um, uh, it doesn't have dominate, so I will no. be defending it with two cards, yep. which add up to six defense value. Well, there you go. This is a very defensive deck, I've noticed. Yeah. Cool, so that's the end of combat. The chain closes. Um, I still have one resource left, mm-hmm. um, so I'm going to destroy my ebb and fold uh, to banish a card from my hand. If it's a shadow card, draw a card. All right, so that's similar to what my uh, thingy did. So I'm g- to, in order to save myself from taking five damage, uh, I'm going to be banishing Soul Harvest from my hand. Nice. Um, which is my specialization, which causes a bit of a problem because the Mentor doesn't search the Banish Zone for specialization. That is a shame. But, uh, but I'm not taking five damage. I was gonna, um, yeah. That's probably worth it at this point. And it's also a Shadow card, so I get I get to draw a card. Um, your Mentor should be on two, I believe. Ah, uh, yes. The turn. Yeah. Uh, no. Um, Does it only get the... If, if, if the Banish card is six or more. Oh, ah, yeah. I see. Okay, right, got yeah. it. Um, cool. Cool. Is there anything else I can do? No. There's something I can do. Uh, yeah. I'll be spending two resources in your turn. Sure. To... Never mind. Let's redact that. I totally forgot. I need a freaking <laughs> something in her soul. Would you... <laughs> Is there anything you want to do, Chris? No, Okay. There's nothing well, I want to do. I'm going to end my turn oh, and draw two so cards. so bad at video games. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Your turn! Your mood! <laughs> uh, well, I have a mentor, and thankfully, Ooh. my specialization has not been discarded to the banished zone. My mentor triggers, uh, start of my turn, library space in the arsenal. Sorry, the librarian, not <laughs> your library. <laughs> You may turn them face up. Once per turn effect, whenever I create a spectral shield token, I can draw a card and put a lesson counter on the librarian. Then if there are three or more lesson counters, search my library for a specialization card, put it into my arsenal. I don't like it. Similarly functioning, except yep. of course, themed for Prism, the spectral shield demancer. My turn. I will send forth my attack, Illuminate, costing zero resource points. Four powered attack. If it hits, it goes into Prism's soul. Furthermore, if you'll remember, uh, Merciful Retribution will punish you if this attack is destroyed for a damage, and it will be put into her soul anyway. So, I'm going to... Give me two seconds, I just need to figure out how this works. All right, I'm going to... Is that the one that I want to use? Yes. I'm going to block with yeah. Unworldly okay. Bellow, mm-hmm. uh, which will block three of the damage. Uh, but alas, I will take one. Yes. Yeah. Because of that, this card wasn't destroyed, so you don't take the punishment from Merciful Retribution. Sure. However, I will still put Illuminate into Prism's soul as that. And I shall be spending Rising Solar Tide for its resource points yep. to pay Prism's cost once per turn, banish a, a soul card, make a Spectral Shield token, and because I have done so, my Librarian triggers Yep. Uh, to put a counter on it. You get to draw a card, correct? And I get to draw a card. I don't know if that will be useful, so I'm going to end my turn soon anyway. Yeah, it's a good card. <laughs> so end card my turn. good. Uh, move on now to your 
your turn. I wonder if it would have been better to do that during your turn, but then I would have had to hold the resource points in my hand anyway. Yeah, so. there's, there's still layers to this game we're trying to figure out. <laughs> Uh, yep. It's like at Magic, like in Magic, it's always good to draw your cards whenever you can, as early as possible. But in this, I feel like we're drawing cards at the wrong time. Like yeah, <laughs> when we got the opportunity to draw cards, we're just like, oh, draw cards. But then I'm going to draw back up to yeah. four anyway. Oh, it's right. odd. It's like you're trying to make the best use of the cards by spending all of them yeah. in your turn. Because at the end of your turn, you draw them back up, which is yeah. really strange. Because usually, yeah, like you said, Magic Gathering, card advantage is a huge part of how the game works. Okay. So, I'm going to play Unworldly Bellow. Um, so, but first I need to pay for it. So, I'm... Pitching Unworldly Bellow for three <laughs> resources. There's a familiar um, interaction. As an additional cost to play Unworldly Bellow, banish three random cards from your graveyard. Uh, the next Brute or Shadow Attack action card you play this turn gains plus four. And I also have Go Again. Plus four. Man, if you can play a card with Dominate, I think I'm screwed. Oh, <laughs> live the dream. Um, one, two, three. First of all, let's see if I... Four. Another Blood Debt. Six. And six. All right, cool. I'm safe. Blood yeah. Debt's uh, yeah. off, but Blood Debt is up to six. Up to six, boy. <laughs> <laughs> all right, so that cost me one resource. I now have two resources le left. Um, so I'm going to play Dread Screamer. Uh, as an additional uh, cost to play Dread Screamer, banish three cards three random cards from your graveyard. If card six more is banished this way, Dread Screamer gains, go again. Oh my goodness. <laughs> um, so. Oh my gosh. Two and three. Six, seven, eight. Wow. Oh, couldn't have planned oh that better. Oh my God, I'm getting destroyed. All right, so first of all, um, 10. Yes. Yep. And I got go again. So I got an has, additional. Yeah, go again. Uh, I do also have to do Lady Barthamont. Uh, actually, I have Mr. Trigger. I got to do Lady Barthamont for that. And, and that, that, yeah. So we'll do on Willy Bellows, seven. That game dominate. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> um, so, yeah. Anyway, um, Barthamont's gone and I can't search for my thing because it's in the banish zone. Oh yeah. Yeah. I'm pretty sure you have to still shuffle your deck because that's the rule. Oh yeah, technically I'm searching my deck. <laughs> <I guess. laughs> yeah, pretty much. Oh, I've searched my deck, it's not in there. Uh oh. Oh, cool. It's such All a right. shame that it went. So anyway, 10. Yes. Does ten. that have Dominate? Uh, I believe not. I believe Dominate was given to Unworldly Bellow because that was the... Um, Oh, yeah. actually, no, attack action. Yes, no, that does have dominate. Oh, okay, it does. I'm no. Willie Bellows oh, doesn't. No. Have. Sorry, oh, sorry. No. My bad. Lots of mistakes have been made. <laughs> well, the first thing I want to do. I, I should declare <laughs> that I am attacking prison, by the way. Okay, good to know. Yep. I can only defend with one thing. Yes. I'm convinced that this is going to hurt a lot. I yeah. have something that could defend for three. It's also going to hurt me a lot because there's some things jumping in the way yeah. that are going to cause me damage. Um, I'll defend for three. Yep. Two more will be absorbed by my spectral shields. Yep. And I'll take the five residual cool. damage. And I'll take two for destroying your special seals. Yes. Um, because of uh, merciless retribution. So I'm down to eight. Indeed you are. Oh, back, <laughs> back together, lads. All right. Oh, it hurts. Um, now I have go again. I have no cards in hand. I don't know why I'm looking at my field. Uh, yeah, no, yours don't function the same way that mine do. Yeah, no. Um, Cool. Uh, that is the end of my turn. So the pitch goes back in, okay. and then I will draw four. Chris, your turn. All right. Your move, Yogi boy. Just punched you for a whole lot. What you got? What you got? 
Oh, I really want to get this aura down, but it's so costly. <laughs> it's so expensive. Okay. Ditching two cards for five resource points. Oh no. Okay. I'm playing my other aura. Ode to Wrath. Whenever a source I control deals damage to an opposing hero, they lose one extra life. Illusionist attack action cards I control have go again. And furthermore, it's an aura, so you can attack it. Just like okay. you could attack Merciless Retribution. Yeah. That's it. That's all I'm doing. Okay. Your move. Okay. Alright. Well, I'm going to play Unworldly Bellow. Yes. Pitching three resources. Here it comes again. Underworld, unworldly Bellow is just ruining me so hard. Alright. Okay, I have enough cards to do what I need to do. <laughs> you need to banish three for this. <laughs> yep. three for another. Yep. Okay. I really, really wonder if my game plan is supposed to be defend, 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 and wait just until you can't pay blood debt. Yeah, that might also be. <laughs> uh, all right, so one, two, three. So. Nothing. Six. Uh -huh. Cool. All right. So six blood debts turned off, but that is another blood debt card in the graveyard or in the banish zone. Blood debts up to seven. I'm getting very close to killing myself. <laughs> yeah. Uh, all right. So the next brute or shadow action you uh, play this turn gains plus four, and I have go again. Cool. Hungering Slaughter Beast with the additional two resources I have left. As an additional cost to play Hungering Slaughter Beast, banish three random cards from your graveyard. It's a 10. Yeah, it's a 10. That's a 10. That's a 10. Warm it up. Warm it up, pure vanilla. That's a 10. Yep. <laughs> cool. On the plus side, your graveyard is looking real slim. So any yeah. further times you try to play Blood Debt by banishing cards from your graveyard might not work. This is for the win. <laughs> uh, uh, so that's a 10, is it? That's a 10. That's a 10. I gotta defend it. Yeah. I have to do whatever it takes. Wonder if there's a way I can... All right. Well, you are attacking me, mm -hmm. right? Yes, that's prism. Prism directly. I will absorb probably nine of it. Shall I just defend it all? <laughs> no, I'm defending nine of it. Nine so, of it? Yes. Okay. I am not in a good position. I'm defending nine of it. I should stack them that way. Oh, uh, yep. Three, six, and nine. nine. Yep. I'll take one, trampling over. Yep. Now my whole turn is gone. <laughs> right. Okay. Uh, they go to the graveyard um, and turn. Mm -hmm. These will go under. And I will draw four cards. Cool. <sighs> Just, I got nothing. I got nothing. Because I like when you defend, <laughs> yeah. so well, you then don't have a turn to do yeah. anything with it. So it sucks because I, I need to make spectral shield tokens to use my iris of reality to attack you, and yeah. gain all these benefits. But I just, I can't get anything to solve. <laughs> yeah. Soul is so important. So I, I just simply got to pass the turn. Back to you. Okay. Nothing I can do. Oh, bruh. S <laughs> ask and ye shall receive. <laughs> All right, my turn. Yeah. Um, Seriously thinking about that. Let me that just blood see, because I did I had a bunch of cards in here. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. Oh no. <laughs> Seven, eight. Oh no. Nine. <laughs> You've miscounted. Ten. Eleven. <laughs> ooh, ooh. <laughs> Are you serious? I didn't realize. Ooh. That. Blood <laughs> Dead's at 11. What the um, heck? I thought you were on 7. I guess he just must have... 
Uh, it's banished been, a whole yeah, bunch when of I, when I banished all the cards from last turn, I wasn't paying attention. Right. God. Oh my god. That's a lot, dude. That's that's a one shot. You, you gotta keep playing every turn. You've gotta pay. That's a lot. Um, yeah, my game plan now is to just defend and ride it out. Nah, man. He, or a swing, brother. Um, <laughs> swing better. <laughs> okay, I'm going to pitch Convulsions from the Bellows of Hell. What a um, great name for a band. Like. To <laughs> uh, play Dread Screamer as an additional cost to play Dread Screamer. Banish three random cards from your graveyard. Yep, no yep. worries. Are there three cards? There's there? three cards exactly from the graveyard. Six. Hey, there you go. Cool. Okay, one more turn, bought. You're running <sighs> out, my dude. Uh, and then if uh, if a card six or more was banished this way, Dread Screamer gains, go again. So uh, I'm swinging for four. Um, yeah. I might as well just swing at Prism. I need to close out the game. Yeah, are you sure? Yeah. That's what you want to do? Yep. Okay, cool. Yep. <laughs> right. I will pitch spe uh, Spears of Surreality. Sure. For three resource points to then play Prismatic Shield as an instant. Um, I create three Spectral Shield tokens. So I'll do that now. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I, I can't believe it. I'm like, that card, I need uh, more of that and less of these things that are just illusions. Less of the chaff that you have in your hand. Yeah, right? And I'm like, goodness, that's so good with these two auras out now. So it has a four power to take. Yeah. Okay, I will not defend it. Yep. Three of my spectral shield tokens will absorb three damage from yep. the attack, so I lose one life. However... <laughs> I'll lose three. You lose six. If a source I control deals damage to an opposing hero, they lose one life. I think I'm reading that right. So each of these triggers for one damage, and yep. each of those one damage is amplified to two because of the other aura. Okay, well down to two then. Now I can see why they were so expensive to play. Uh. They're like four resource points each, but they're really powerful. <laughs> uh, and you take one. I did, I'm okay, down to six. Yeah. Cool. Uh. <laughs> I mean, you're dead anyway if you can't pay that. So All right, it's, it's, it's fine. Blood, blood debt has been paid. Yeah, not to yeah. mention there are now more cards with blood debt in here, so it's now <laughs> up to 13. It's enough to die. Um, it sure is. Though, Dread Screamer did have go again. It's a, yeah. So, Dreadwood Rumbler, um, pitching Rally of the Mirror Guard because I'm dead anyway. Um, draw a card, then discard a card at random. Sweet, so just bin it, I guess. Yep. Oh, uh, if it's discarded this way, banish a card from the graveyard. I'm actually going to banish the smaller Dread Screamer. Yes, good So idea. then I'm guaranteed to have a six in there if I survive another turn. Eight at Prism, god. at your face. Oh my god. And now that I've wasted time with those Spectral Shields, I can block eight. But uh, how much, at what cost? How much do I need to block? I, I wonder if you can bump him up one, because if I defend with a three power defender. I have no cards in my hand. I'll hit. And all my line. resources are empty. I'll, I'll block it with all of my remaining cards. Five uh, blocking power against your eight attack. Yep. I'll take three damage trampling over. Cool. Down to three life. <laughs> <laughs> this is really coming down to the wire. Uh, yeah, I actually realised I probably could have done some extra damage, but it's fine. Um, we are where we are. Yep. It's now very important. Misplays count. Oh, uh, oops, this should have triggered upon the, that uh, turn. Do you want to...? Yeah, so it would have... Whenever I create a Spectral Shield, I, I draw a card. Draw. Actually, that's really egregious. Like, uh, I really screwed that up, didn't I? Okay. I'll just draw them. Yep. Yeah, sorry, viewer. <laughs> sorry, so banish him. We're still learning. We're still learning. It's okay, a good that, fun uh, game. It's my arsenal. And um, Herald of Judgment, specialization. It's something that, that I can just play, right? Yeah, uh, it's, uh, you still have to pay for it, but it's there. So it's essentially your mentor searches for the card and then you have access to it. Yeah, cool. So it's yeah. in the arsenal. Right? So like tu tutoring in the card. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. All right, so. I have drawn my four cards, end turn. Okay. Whenever I create a special shield, draw a card. Okay, I should have drawn three cards. But I also, my entire game plan, uh, yeah, like, I screwed up, it's my fault. I, I get a game loss, surely. Uh, I think you only draw two, because that was already Yeah. A, yeah. Okay. Sorry, right, I'll let you do that. But, I think I'm okay to just like forego 
for that mistake I made because yep. I actually just wanted to fend. So I'm going yep. to end it. That should have been on the bottom. I don't know what the hell I'm doing with my life. <laughs> it's, it's all right. And I'm passing to you. Cool. So let's. Okay. I'm going to. Uh, action, destroy Goliath Gauntlet. Mm -hmm. The next action card you play with cost two or greater um, gains plus two attack. Go again. Oh no. <laughs> this is it. This is the Hell Mary, isn't it? Yeah. And then I'm going to play Dreadwood Rumbler, pitching three from uh, Boneyard Marauder. Um, so he costs three, so he gets plus two. So he's currently at an eight. Draw a card, then discard a card at random. If a card with six or more is discarded this way, banish a card from you from a graveyard. Mm. Hey. Hey. All right. Uh, I'm just gonna banish that one. Yeah. Pay the blood debt. Yep. Uh, and then, because I banished a card with six or more, um, put into the banish zone, I'm going to destroy who's the, the Shadow Beast to gain one action point. Oh, cool. So you can basically go again. Right? Yes. Yeah. But, but it's kind of different, because go again usually means that whatever it's doing has to happen. Yeah. Has to hit or whatever. So I now have an additional action point for my thing. Uh, so, anyway, um, Dreadwood Rumbler is up to eight. I gotta defend. I gotta do it. So we'll go with three and six and nine. Yep. To cool. Block everything. Yep. Okay. All right. Then I'm going to play Hungering Slaughter Piece by pitching Deadwood Rumbler. As an additional card, banish three cards from my graveyard. Oh no! <laughs> oh no! And he's a seven. Yeah. That's actually a lot, and I don't think I can defend it all. Two, three. If I can kill you before the blood deck kicks in, I'll be all good. Yeah. I think you got it, Yep, dude. yep. I think you have got it. Cool. Seven. Defend for three and take four. Bam! Oh! 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 Wow. I can't believe you pulled that off. That was so good. Oh, uh, dude, we death got, was looming over we, you the whole time. We got there in the end. I think, because uh, my 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 deck was also going low. Another way to lose is if your deck reaches zero, similar to Magic, mm -hmm. and you can't draw a card. Um, I, I was getting there, man. I was like, <laughs> I needed to punch through. Yeah. Oh, because all those times where like you could have maybe gotten rid of one of my auras by attacking it, you just forewent and yeah. just hit me, hit me, hit me. And every single time I had to defend, defend, defend. Yeah. All of my cards go to the bin, and when you start your turn with no cards in your hand, you're screwed. Yeah. There's like nothing you can yeah. do. So But then you also gotta like you gotta think about oh what hits do I take yeah. for the chance to maybe come back and, exactly. and, and change. Yeah. yeah. So um, like if an attack is coming at you and it only has four power yeah. instead of you know freaking eight. You might just have to be like, okay, I'll take four, and yep. now I can respond. Yeah. Yeah. Very interesting game. I yeah. really, really dig it. I, I, I love this. Um, I'm now into another <laughs> trading card game. Um, but guys, uh, hopefully you enjoyed it. Uh, hopefully you understood what happened. Uh, we made several mistakes. We did. Uh, <laughs> in the comments. Go nuts. Tell us um, how wrong we are. We, we and, and if, if you have any questions, feel free to put them in the comments as well. We'll answer them as best as we can. Um, if you enjoyed this, we do have two other Blitz decks to play. We have Bolton and Shane. Um, and if you guys just want to see more Flesh and Blood content, um, we can certainly look into it and, and, and do more stuff. So, yeah. Uh, I'm keen. Yeah, I'd definitely down to play again. Uh, but anyway, guys, um, I've been Reese. I've been Chris. And we will see you next time. Thanks for watching. See ya.